Love and light. Labradorite, Labradorite blessings. Crystal blessings. What up, everybody? It's Nikki with Mystic Illuminations. I am here to give you a transit reading, and it's going to be for Venus entering Cancer. So it's a very heartfelt and beautiful, warm, loving energy. And I'm going to do a 12 sign reading. And I'm going to do a three card spread for each sign. And it's just going to really focus on the energy that Venus and Cancer is going to bring for your particular sign. If you'd like to apply it even to your Venus sign, which would make a lot of sense too. So if it resonates for you in your moon sign, your ascendant, your sun sign, of course, that would all apply. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support, your love, likes, comments, and shares. Look forward to connecting with you. So I'm going to start with Aries, and we're going to just run through um, every sign and really just uh, grasp the energy and really give a great inspiration to what Venus in Cancer is going to feel like and be like for your sign. Aries, this message is for you. For you, Aries. Okay, Aries, the magician in the mirror has showed up. It's a very magical, magical card. He's letting you know that you are the magician. The mirror is the reflection of self, knowing that within you have the power to manifest the great love that you desire, the great, um, really, destination that you need to be at, uh, where you feel that you're going to be fulfilled most, because blossoming abundance is on your side, Aries. This is a great, great card, especially coming into a new Venus transit. It's really about love, pleasure, beauty, and you're going to be really coming into a loving, warm, warm state. So see all of the beautiful birds, bees, and trees, and uh, beautiful things that are going to be coming towards your Venus in Cancer transit, but know that there is a contract, not in a negative way, but know that there is a contract. It could be even a soul contract that you have with somebody. There is a Libra in your life, perhaps the symbolization of that, um, the balance that needs to take place. There's some kind of um, bind that is going to be um, perhaps broken or made. So it's a big contract that's coming up for you in this Venus in Cancer transit. Um, so just really kind of weigh your options, feel justice, feel the fairness, feel um, the strength that you're going to get. So it's telling me in these cards that it's going to have a great outcome. So whatever it is that you are contracted to, um, whatever it is, just know that you're going to get the great divine message that's going to help you get this blossoming abundance and realize that you are the powerful ma magic. You are the magician. You are the creator of your destiny. So really use those powers. Use all, all elements. If you see this magician, he is really blessing your energy with all the different powers and magical, magical ways that he has. So there's fire, there's ice, there's sun, there's stars, there's light. There's real true if infinity um, that is um, floating over his head, the infinity symbol that's lit up like a halo. So know that it is really going to be endless. Um, so you can really call upon Merlin. He's a great great spirit guide. If that resonates with you, you can make some connections in that way um, and really connect to, to your magical blessings that are going to happen in this Venus transit for you. Taurus. What's up, Taurus? And I have your reading that awaits you. Taurus, this is for your Venus in Cancer. And you are ruled by Venus. So let's see, this is going to be a really special transit for you. And let's see what spirit has for Taurus, Venus and Cancer, Taurus. Okay, so which way to go? Would you go to the unknown way to the left or the unknown way to the right? This person is caped. It's almost like a red riding hood vibe, um, of course, because it is also fall. It's showing that the leaves are dying. It's time to renew. The earth is ready to regenerate. Um, if this does not resonate with your hemisphere at the moment, it's just a symbolization. 
Um, know that some things had to die in order for them to regenerate, but just know that the indecision that is laying at hand is going to bless you because the man holding the heart and he is here. He is here offering his um, compassion. He's offering his warm, sensual vibes as well as a romantic vibe for some of you. But also know it's going to be um, reassuring and warming your heart of the indecision that has take, take, taken place or is taking place. Um, the angel of balance has also arrived. Um, so just know that this exact energy for your transit here, Taurus, is that it's going to be blessed and balanced. So if you feel out of whack or something like that, really right now, just know that that is not going to be feeling um going to be staying there, okay? You're going to have a very stable, you're going to have a very, very strong and steady vibe, like so much like yourself. You're very strong, you're very steady, you're very, very thought-provoking and, and um, going slow and moving at a great slow pace and thinking things over and nurturing and um, really feeling good. So you're going to be really feeling good, you're going to feel balanced. Um, so whatever indecision that was at hand, just know it's okay to go the un known way. It's okay to have some feelings come up that maybe has made you feel confused on why things are happening, but don't question it so much because know that the outcome is that the man is holding the heart. He is going to be blessing you with love. Venus in Cancer is a very nurturing, it's a very loving, warming feeling. It is a mother-daughter relationship. Uh, Venus, the moon, is mother uh, I mean, the moon is mother and Venus would be daughter. So it's really kind of showing you that it is a nurturing, it is a loving, protective feeling. So the angel of balance is blessing you, Taurus, in this as well. So really, really uh, focusing in some rest and rejuvenation as well. And um, you will get your answers. And we have Gemini. And as I said, Gemini, that flew out. So that's your card. And Gemini, this is your Venus in Cancer transit. All right, Gems, this is for you. Okay, so the Envy card is coming up. Somebody is envious of you, Gemini. You have um, really kind of showed up and showed out this past couple of months. You've had really, really great things happening. So just know that there is the envy card. Um, if somebody's looking at you with envious eyes, just know that um, they're not going to hold strong. They're not going to damage or hurt anything that you have planned or that you have planted that's going to grow. Contract also came up for you. So just know that it is about possibly a legal, legal document. And it could be about a legal way, um, something to do with an occupation, something to do with your pursuit in you know, building something. So whether it's your business, whether it, it could be, you know, it, even if some of you are going through a divorce or a, a contract of that nature or something even positive, like signing a house, um, you know, there's going to be some legal documents. So you're going to weigh your options, but just know that it's okay because blossoming abundance has also came up for you. So it is really a time to enjoy the natural abundance. I see this card and I see natural um, mother earth nurturing exactly what Venus in Cancer is going to do is going to nurture. It's a heartfelt, it's a very warming, it's a very heart touching feeling. So abundance in a healthy, loving way is going to come for you, Gemini, because the envy is not a main focus point. It's about knowing that we can dodge that, we can get through that and really have a great outcome. Um, just know that blasting the abundance comes up. So whether there is um, a feeling of envy that you maybe are experiencing yourself and you feel like, hey, I need to be in this position and I'm feeling envious that I'm not yet. But really what I'm getting mostly is that there are people that are envious around you, Jim. So really kind of, um, you know, focus in on 
lifting higher and going into your higher self and your higher dimension because we really can't entertain any of those dark entities, especially if they're drawn at you um, because they can really initially take some energy that you really want to save because um, there's contracts to be made, there's decisions to be met, and as well as blasphemy abundance to be received. So definitely an abundant blossoming time for you, gems, and your Venus and Cancer. And speaking of Cancer, what's up, Cancers? This is special for you because Venus, the planet of love and pleasure and beauty and sensuality and warmth is really coming into your sign. So let's see what this has in store for you, Cancer. Cancer, this is for you. Okay, so we have the seventh chakra. The seventh chakra is your crown. This is your highest connection to spirit. This is your chakra that really connects you to the messages from heaven, from divine, from um, the real uh, spirit guides that really um, connect to you and your real um, ascension here. So you're going to be ascending higher and higher. You're going to be connecting really strongly, um, especially because Venus is in your sign. It's going to be feeling um, very empowered. You're going to be very, feeling very high end. You're going to be feeling very strong. But know that you um, cannot tie yourself up. It does show that you could tie yourself down. It's showing tied up, but it looks like she's tied down as well. Um, but it's not anything to alarm you. Just know that it is a, a, a fair warning of just saying that, listen, um, it looks like you could even be underwater. Um, in a sense, you can swim, you can float, you can break away. Um, you are tied in, in leaves and you are tied in perhaps seaweed or some earthly feelings. So Venus is an earthy feeling going into, you know, connecting with the moon. They're going to be talking. They're going to be connecting. They're going to be, you know, um, pleasuring, uh, you know, ideas and, and supporting some things that you need to do. And that's really just breaking away from feeling tied up emotionally um, and maybe feeling like if there was like an earth sign or something that was maybe holding you back or something that wasn't really resonating with you, just break away from that cancer because you really um, tried your hardest. Um, you can't have hostilities come up, but they are um, definitely there. Um, so it could be that they are against you, but know that there is a spiritual war going on. Um, the, the sword there is heightened and it is ready for war. It is prepared um, as well as the soldier is. He is really, really ready for battle. So um, just know that there could be some battles coming up of heart. Okay, and, and and it's not really in a, in a physical form here. Spirit is wanting me to let you know it's not about really physically fighting or really physically going to war. It's really about um, going to war and perhaps having some things that are, you know, surfacing for you that has held your heart back or maybe hasn't really got it filled to the capacity that it really deserves. So just know that um, you can really... Uh, go to war but don't have hostilities especially within yourself don't um, lack your confidence and don't lack your ability to fight for what you truly love and what you truly want because let us not forget the crown chakra came really strong for you so definitely know that this is a blessed card archangel uriel is here to really spread knowledge and connect the light from the spiritual divine so even with those things that are coming up for you cancer just know that it is okay to really um, connect with those feelings, connect with that um, vibe, because you're really here to nurture yourself, get the messages, do some crown chakra meditations, get that light opened up, and you are definitely going to um, you know, fight through anything that is coming your way. You're very, very blessed and divine, and you're very heightened in many levels, especially with Venus being in your sign. So definitely keep your heart chakra open and ready to receive. All right, and we have Leo. All right, Leo, your solar return. Hope you're having a blessed birthday month and a wonderful time celebrating. 
Let's see what Venus in Cancer has in store for Leo. Leo, Leo, the lion. Leo, Leo, the lion. All right, Leo, this is you. Okay. Oh, wait. We have the goddess of the moon. She is here to bless you, knowing that the moon plays a really big part in this transit. Uh, Venus entering Cancer, she's doing a little dance, and she's letting the goddess of the moon um, really feel at home, really feel nurtured, really feel connected emotionally. So, Leo's, your hearts and your emotional, intuitive feelings are really going to be heightened during this transit. It is showing you that the happy family is a great outcome and a a great feeling, a great goal, and also a great um, spiritual path and blessing because the happy families came. The rainbow is the representation of chakras that are aligned, cleared, and ready to be um, flourished and ready to really um, do their do their beautiful work. Um, the beautiful family is could be friends, family, mother, daughter, son, father, brother, whatever is connection to your family and resonates with you. Just know that this is a beautiful transit for you, for your family, especially um, in your home life. So this is really going to be bringing your home together and you're really going to have maybe some visitors at this time of your home. You're going to be bringing and you're going to be entertaining and you're going to be really having a happy home and family. And also, uh, George, her romance, which is really, really blessed because it is beautiful time for Venus to really open her um, beautiful time of passion, of romantic feelings. So feeling sensual, feeling warm, feeling even sexually connected to how you want to be pleased, how you want to feel appreciated, how you want to show how you are love someone. Um, it's really all about um, opening up that door to really what makes you feel very loved and fulfilled in your heart. So you are led by your heart. You are led by love. Venus is really the planet of love. She is named after a goddess of love and it is beautiful time. So the key to your heart will be open. The door to romance is ready. So some of you are going to be meeting the loves of your life at this time or really kind of taking it to the next level if you are already with that person. So really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And we have Virgo next. What's up, Virgos? Let's see what we have for you. Venus and Cancer for Virgo. This is it right here. Okay. Cornucopia, so really, really big time for a great blessing of abundance. It's almost like your fruits of labor are really being um, heightened and really being blessed and expanded. The cornucopia is really kind of like an endless symbol of um, prosperity and abundance. It's almost kind of giving you a um, gratitude of knowing that you are um, Hard work has really been blessed because you are thankful for that. The cornucopia has really come off really, really big. It's letting you know that you are really going to be uh, replenished. You are going to be healed. You are going to be, um, you know, happy in a way because you're going to have all of these things that are going to bless your soul, bless your life. Um, know that broken heart did come up for you. So something has broken your heart. Something has really kind of damaged the way that you look at somebody or something. But just know that that was necessary to happen. So this Venus in Cancer is really going to come through. It's going to heal a lot of broken hearts. So if this resonates with you, Virgo, just know that you are not alone. You are not the only one. You have the power to heal yourself because the angel of strength has came up. So you are going to really kind of um, indulge in some really strong therapy of healing your desire, healing your wounds that has maybe been, you know, 
um, happened in the past or even a past life. It could be a karmic feeling. But know that Angel of Strength has came through. The sun is still in Leo. The lion is there. He's ready to protect. He's ready to give offer some extra strength. So the Angel of Strength and the lion has came for you, knowing that, hey, it's time to really be strong. So whatever has hurt your heart, broken it, just know that... Um, it's bursting it open. So when your heart does break, know that it's okay because um, nothing will be broken that is not going to be fixed or replaced. Just have faith, have that strength, have that courage. So if this resonates with some of you, just know that that loss or that um, breaking of a heart or of a hope or of um, some type of a uh, reassurance of love that has been broken or a promise been broken, it is okay that was meant to happen for you to prepare yourself for what is really going to love your soul, endure all the happiness, endure any type of struggle because God, goddess and God will see you through it. So that's really, truly the message that came through for you, Virgo. Remember the cornucopia is here. It is blessing you with great abundance and you're going to have strength. And uh, no matter what is broken, you just keep on pushing. You are um, really, really beautifully intelligent in many ways. So definitely get ready for your blessings for Venus and Cancer. And one piggyback of that is the world. It popped out right as I said that. So just know the world is in your hands. The world is, is really um, opening up for you to do what you need to do. Okay, so really set, set it up for you to um, put, your, put your plans and manifestations into, into uh, writing or if you could speak it, which would be great. Um, so the world supports you. All right, I had to get that in there. So yes, Libra, Libra, you were on deck, so now you are up. Let's see what's going on with Libra for your Venus in Cancer transit. That was Libra. This is Libra, Libra. Appreciation. She is showing up to let you know that you are appreciated. You are blessed. You are definitely going to be rewarded for your lending of your help, your hands, your heart, your creativity, your definite support that you've been giving to others. So when appreciation lady shows up, she is really honoring your hard work and you're true honoring your um, honest self. You're able to really kind of get your messages clear. You are ruled also Libra by Venus. So it's going to be very special for those that are ruled by Venus as well. It's very, it's going to be, oh, such a loving way. It's going to really open up our way, how we're going to love others, how we're really going to um, truly love ourselves, number one. But this is really about loving others, too, and loving who we're really meant to be with here. The man holding the coin has showed up for you, Libra, so it is showing me prosperity is on the rise. He is giving you your um, respect and your um, honor, and you are an integrity soul, okay? So you have integrity. You have a um, beautiful message here to share and give. So when this man shows up, he's telling me that you are going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed not only in a um, healthy vibe, but it's more or less like, you know, you're going to get a raise. You're going to get an advancement. You're going to get an idea that's going to connect you to a something that's going to really bring a great income for you. He showed up. It's a beautiful time for you. It's a very, I get a calm. I get a very restful feeling. I feel like, oh, like your worries are going to have to be, um, washed away now because it's really got time for you to be in appreciation for what this man is going to give you and you're you're appreciating it but really it's because you've been appreciated and the sixth chakra is also coming up for you libra 
So it's a time for you to know that it is a very intuitive transit. Of course, the moon cancer is a very intuitive sign. Venus is your planet. So get ready to really feel some intuitive vibes, some beautiful intuitive love messages. Um, so yeah, just en enjoy, enjoy being appreciated. Enjoy having that coin um, come as a message of blessings and um, know that you, you can get more messages if you do some third eye uh, meditations in your sixth chakra at Archangel Metatron is also here to give you support. So it's a great time to focus on the indigo blue color and really clear that chakra and balance your third eye for extra messages and intuitive spiritual knowledge. Scorpios are next. What's up, Scorpios? This is for your Venus in Cancer transit. Scorpio, this is for you, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. The thinking man showed up, so he's letting you know that this is a very, very well worth experience, meaning that it would... It was very necessary to keep thinking about it. It's very necessary to marinate. How I like to say, like, I will marinate on that. Um, and just keep on thinking that um, the outcome, okay, is going to be in your best interest and for your highest good. This man shows up showing you that he is giving you some extra support and that, um, Nothing too great happens over time, overnight. So what I'm saying is over time is going to really kind of blossom and become what it's meant for you. So although we want things to happen now, 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 no Scorpio said it's all about patience. Your time is coming. You are on the come up. You are definitely going to be um, blessed and um, soon to be very, very extra lucky. Okay. So this is an awesome time for your Venus in Cancer. You're going to be really patient. You're going to really have um, the the dream catcher I get is, is a really in the back of my mind as well. But it's also a clock showing that, listen, you have time. Be patient with what your heart truly wants. Be patient. Hold out. There's something that some of you are holding out for, and it's the right thing to do um, because it's going to give you that time to just um, really manifest a very powerful destination and a powerful destiny. So this angel is really giving you the patience and giving you the courage and um, you know the strength to have patience because patience is a virtue. And a lot of um, Scorpios have to really come out of that hiding place and to just be patient in front, you know, and not to, to go back and just, you know, wait in the wings. We have to just be front and center. Although there is envy going on here, Scorpios, and it's not a surprise. There's some people that are really out to get you. There's people that really want, don't want to see you shine. Um, there's some envy going on. There could be people that are even on your team or on your side that may be looking in the eyes of envy, but really you don't keep people in that way. So I would really kind of say it's more or less maybe like a work environment. Um, or it could be just in passing where people are just envious of your vibe or the magic that you can bring. So just know that um, you have to be extra, extra careful in who you uh, spend your time with during this time because people really kind of want to um, not see you shine because of how powerful you are. So just know that um, you are definitely blessed and that you are definitely going to be in tune here with um, what needs to happen. So it's all in divine order. Just know that this card is coming up, that there are people that could um, really be envious of your prosperity, envious of your come up or of um, some things that are going to be taking place in your life. So just be careful on who you share information with. But I know being a Scorpio and knowing that, um, you know, uh, Scorpios can really have a secretive vibe, right? So hiding uh, what is really going to, um, you know, be the the kicker, you know. Uh, we, we like to keep our cards close here. So just really um, take time, 
have patience, really know that your heart is really in due for some healing and um, protect your aura, protect your vibe because there are some um, envious feelings that can come up, but also know that you are definitely on your way to the road to prosperity and also everything that you wish for. So know that the thinking man is really coming up with some great, great methods and great answers and great connections for your path to destiny and fate. So yeah, yeah, Scorpios. We have Sagittarius next. Sagittarius, what up, though? All right, let's see what's up with Sag. That's a popper that popped up for sure. This is Sagittarius right here. All right, so we have a journey that you're on. Okay, this journey is lit up. This could be a vacation. This could be a uh, actual moving. This could be starting up and moving out, moving to a new place in life, uh, actual physical home, or new way of life, new way of being. There um, is definitely a bridge here that was lit up for you and only you. So you are taking that step to actually cross it and make that connection for a new journey. Um, the garden and the gate have also, also excuse me, came up for you. Um, and know that there is definitely a beautiful horizon for you, Sagittarius. You have the potential to actually be, um, you know, really growing so many different different passions. So you have the potential to growing um, your own desires, your own passion. So whatever it is that you want to accomplish in life, know that you are the gardener of that uh, garden. You are the gardener of your soul. What you grow in your soul, you are the owner of that. You are the controller of that. This is a beautiful, innocent card. It has a young, beautiful girl that is um, holding a basket of flowers. She's entering the garden and the gate, and it's opening up so many different endless possibilities for you because possibilities came up adjacent of possibilities so just know that this is um, what door to take what answer to bring um, and that is really going to be the choices that you make so one choice brings to another so it's kind of like you have this decision to make and um, if you choose this way it's going to bring you to about nine ten different possibilities that way if you choose that way I mean and that's just really life we kind of Got, you know, bring us to our destiny and the decisions and the path that we decide to take and how we're going to make. Some people have fate and destinies and some people can really motivate and um, move and how they want to create it. You know, we are the co-creators of our life, of our feelings, of our true, true um, purpose. So yeah, the adjacent possibilities is really kind of opening here. There is, um, a window that opened. There's many different doors that are opening. And then there's a lit up door right in the far, far back there. And that's just really kind of where you need to be aiming towards. It's just that light. But there's other ways and other places to get there. So just know that you are on that journey, Sag, to really make it count and really make it um, worth knowing that why this decision has came up and why you made that decision. It's almost going to be the confirmation and what door to take for some of you and what you need to do. You know, it can be adjacent. There could be, you know, you could enter through the, you know, I, I've said before, enter through the exit and leave out the entrance. There's really no way, but how you're going to get there, it's going to all come to you. So just realize that, you know, you have some real um, time to actually manifest those things and uh, get them going. So yes, Venus and Cancer is going to be opening up a lot of possibilities for you, Sag. Next, we have, and that was about your heart chakra too. So it's really a heartfelt, you know, feeling. We have Cancer, it's such a heartfelt feeling. Venus is so heartfelt. I got cards flying out. <laughs> and that was um, thinking woman. But I'm really doing this for Capricorn. So let me speak this into existence. Capricorn, this is for you. You are up next. This is your Venus and Cancer reading. Capricorn. All right. Okay. So... Capricorn, magician, you are the magic. You are the magician. 
you have the power to create and manifest your exact desires. The mirror represents the reflection. So uh, who we really are inside is what we really truly reflect in our actions, okay? So if we manifest something magical, it's a reflection of what we truly desire. So this magician is up here for you to understand that you are the magician. He is showing up saying that you are the magician of your life, of your creation. So Capricorn, you are working hard to creating that. The man holding the coin actually came up after this walking away. So walking away has been a um, an awakening for some people because when you walk away from something, you open up space for what really is going to um, be the path that you need to be on. So you walk away to just enter what has happened in your prosperity of knowing that you walked away from something that was not in your highest good. You walked away from it for a reason. So if you're walking away from something or you walked away from something Capricorn, know that that is okay because that is leading you to the true prosperity. The man holding a coin has came in his beautiful aura hair, right? And he's um, in the meadow just kind of chilling, lounging with this huge coin. And he really is representing the prosperity that you're going to gain from your fruits of labor and from your hard work. And really, the key of this is knowing that you are the magic. You are the powerful magician. You can conquer every single wish, okay, that you want. Um, there, if there's any battle that you have had, you can really drive through it. You can really see the um, end result by walking away and getting the um, beautiful blessings that this man is going to bring into your life. He really represents the strength, stability, and also um, really great miracles that can be worked in your life to bring you abundance because the man holding a coin is offering you your true prosperity. So extra form of income, a raise, uh, a boss giving you an extra bonus, um, anything to do of that nature. If you're your own boss, you're creating something else to give you some extra uh, income. So it's a real financial feeling, but knowing that walking away, it's kind of like um, closing the gate to something else and moving into a new beginning. So it's a really big, beautiful, magical time for you, Capricorn. Venus and Cancer is blessing all of us, really. So now we have your Aquarius. And that was the door to personal healing and happiness. That flew out. So Spirit's just kind of throwing a lot of things at me just to giving you um, a, a, you know, a full reading of, you know, I'm not done yet. I have another thing to say. So Caps, it was a door to personal healing and happiness. So the rainbow's there. The dove is there. This this is really leading you to that door, leading you to, um, you know, taking those steps to actually live in that feeling and be in that moment. So Aquarius, this is your Venus in Capricorn. Aquarius, Aquarius, you got a card popper. All right. This is Aquarius here. Aquarius, this popped out. That was your message to get your Sacral chakra really, really healed. Um, it's really tuning into um, your sexual, your creative, your um, feelings of warm um, contentment, but also really how you desire and how you really feel of, um, you know, kind of getting your vibes going. So if you want to connect with this chakra, you can play your favorite music, you can do yoga, you can move and really groove and, and feel that sacral chakra healing and vibing with that orange bright light. And that is really connected down where her, um, yeah, it's like a world in a, in a big firing ball of love and light. And it's held right below her navel, right above you know, your sexual organs there. So it's your sacral chakra. It's right in between your navel and your groin. And it's really um, great to get that healed and get that flowing because it's going to bring you some blessings for your Venus in Cancer, Aquarius. Um, your intuition is heightened. Your third eye is on pop. You are ready to really get it popping even more. So get this going. Get your sixth chakra healed. 
Get it going where it is open to channel some great messages from spirit because you're going to have to have patience. You're going to have to have some perseverance and patience because this is going to come at a time where you're going to kind of just like get all of your emotions together so you're able to manifest what is to come. So really kind of get that going, manifest, put your intentions out there, but have patience with it because you got some healing to do. You got some messages that are going to come through and your third eye and as well as your sacral excuse me your sacral chakra say that a few times fast but I'm really um, interested just to let you know that patience is the virtue patience is the message that's coming through so if anything you felt tied back from something or you felt like you needed to go 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 um, just know that that was okay because the patience is really giving you that time to heal giving you that time to let that come through and get your shock chakras aligned especially your sacral Aquarius so this is um all going to be a really big message for all of us but it's all going to be really coming forth in a um, nurturing way in a way that we can really heal ourselves and others and last but never least is the Pisces Posse Pisces what's up this is for you guys All right, Pisces, this is your message for Venus and Cancer. Pisces. Okay. So the world has came up again. The world is really, really strong cards. Let it card, excuse me. It's letting you know that you are driven and you are ready to feel the abundance that the world has in store for you. So connect with the world, connect with what the world is going to bless you with, Pisces. It's a really great balance of yin and yang. So yin and yang has came through. I always look at it, it could be like a representation of your sign of the two fish. Yin yang is um, really the masculine, the feminine, the light, the dark, you know, the balance, the true, true meaning of really living in harmony with everything. So it's a really great message and card to get with your Venus in Cancer. Um, it's an intuitive feeling. You're an intuitive sign. So really focus on balancing your yin and yang energy and know that the world is really supporting you because the door to romance is also big here. It is coming up for you, letting you know that the key is ready to be open and turned for your heart. So for some of you, this could mean um, a really big new love um, coming into your life. It also could mean a way that you are romantically connected to a feeling or situation in your life. Um, romance in music, romance in art, romance in um, passions and whatever makes you feel like you are having a sexy, fun, um, loving, beautiful, um, warming, sensual time because romance is really heightened with the planet Venus and she's going into a nurturing sign like cancer. It's a really great time for you to really get romantic with yourself, your lover or if there's a new love to really wine and dine it's really all about that energy so really enjoy that energy I'm gonna also uh, pull a card for everybody so I know that um, we are all connected and I just would love to just get some more insight here on um, exactly what this energy and this transit is going to be for all of us so definitely um, a really good time to kind of reach into our heart's desires, of course, and how we're going to really nurture our love and feel so heartfelt in this time, especially in Cancer, Venus and Cancer. All right, so let's see Venus and Cancer for everybody. This is our card. All right, so it's saying that it is a very intuitive time, and we're going to be getting some great messages through our sixth chakra. So everyone, please, 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 I am really uh, urging you to do some chakra meditations and really focus on your sixth chakra. You could do so very easily. Um, the World Wide Web is at your fingers. You could just type in anything to do with your sixth chakra and really connect to that energy, connect to crystal stones, anything that's going to really 
really bring that um, vibe for you. This chakra color is indigo blue. So yes, Archangel Metatron. Um, and also the sacral chakra is coming up for all of us as well. So it is a big healing time. Um, it is a great chakra to heal, especially when we're kind of ready for some intimate connections. We're ready to um, connect intimately on different levels as well as, um, you know, a physical sense. So it's an intimate level on different ways of our, our own spirituality, our desires, our mind, our soul. Um, and our, our, our second chakra, excuse me, is definitely supported by the color orange and uh, creativity, like I say, divine sexuality, femininity, masculinity, all of those things that are going to be really connecting us to our true desires and our wants and how we're going to create the love that we truly want and that we truly want to keep um, going in our lives if we already have it. So know that that's for all of us and the man holding the heart last but not least. What a beautiful card to get in this wonderful transit, Venus and Cancer. How awesome is that? The man holding the heart, he is showing you that it is a romantic time. So really just get ready to be swooned. Get ready to um, enjoy some beautiful dates, some beautiful time, conversations of the soul, conversations of the heart, um, true heart connections, whether they're new ones or old ones, but just re-sparking a flame, um, reigniting and reuniting perhaps. So all those things are coming through for all of us. Those are the messages that Spirit wanted me to let you know. Venus and Cancer is a beautiful nurturing time, like I said, a beautiful time for us to all connect with our hearts and to nurture each other and really to go with what we truly, um, how we want to be loved is really going to be in the act how we're going to love. So how we love others is how we truly want to be loved. And that's exactly a great message for this transit, especially tuning into love and pleasure and uh, intuition here. So we have a great message from the man holding a heart. And that heart is for you, it is for me, it is for all of us. So that is very magical and wonderful. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. Please click like. Please click share. If you'd like to get a reading with me, you can do so at mysticilluminations88.com. You can look for my name, Nikki, under readers, and it would be such an honor to connect with you. So thank you so much, and have an awesome Venus in Cancer transit. I will see you guys next time. One love.